Hello, Lawrence Grayson back again for shortformvideo.com with another After Effects tutorial for you to get your teeth into. Now you'll probably be pleased to hear that unlike previous attempts, uh, this will be a single part tutorial and once again it only uses the standard tool set within After Effects CS3, CS4 or CS5. So what are we going to do today? Let me show you. I'm going to take this straight piece of video footage, a shot of a strange man making a cup of coffee in my kitchen, and I'm going to turn it into a surveillance video, or CCTV, uh, complete with uh, vignette, old TV look, and of course that uh, time-lapse video look. Okay, so how do we do this? Let's get started. Okay, so take your footage and drag it onto the new composition button to create a new composition based upon that footage. And just trim it to size. Now, I'm going to wait until the guy comes into view and just drag the clip holding down shift to lock it onto the timeline and repeat the process for the end. Just grab the clip, hold down shift and snap to the timeline and just match up the process with the work area bar at the top. And I'm going to go to uh, composition, trim comp to work area and that will give me a composition that's nicely trimmed down to just the footage I want to use. Okay, so next step is to go to your effects and presets panel and type in vignette. Grab the vignette lighting preset and drag it onto your footage. And uh, you probably won't be able to see that because it's quite a subtle effect at this stage, but it just adds a little bit of lens vignetting to the, uh, to the footage. Next, we go back to the effects and presets panel and find the night vision preset. Now I'm just going to drag that onto the footage as well. Now it's important that you do it in this order because if you actually add the vignette after the night vision preset you lose half of the colour adjustments that the vignette creates. So I'll just drag those effects back to the top, set it back to normal. Now we don't actually want a night vision um, look, so but if you do obviously you, know, you can skip this next step. Um, we want something that looks a little bit more like a monochrome um, CCTV or surveillance video camera and they're typically black and white. So uh, just go to the solid composite effect, click on the colour button and just set it to black. And as you can see that strips out all the colour in the scene. Okay, so it's looking pretty good so far. But we just need to add a few more elements. So select your footage, go to effect, text and time code. And that will just add a straight black and white um, text box at the top left hand corner of your screen by default that reflects the time code of the footage underneath. Um, just going to play around with it so it matches um, what I want a little bit better. In the time units, because I'm using a, a PAL camera, it's uh, 25 frames per second, so I'm going to change it from 30 to 25. Obviously if you're using NTSC, then you'd leave it at 30. Leave the text size as it is, and the text position. Now the text position is set to 96 um, and 72 by default. Um, obviously these values may vary depending on the, the original size of your footage. That default puts it in the title safe area, top left hand corner. Now um, I already have the title safe guidelines enabled. If you don't know how to do that, there's a quick shortcut key. So just hit the apostrophe key on your keyboard just to toggle these grid lines on and off. They'll come in really handy later when we create a couple of the other elements. Now I don't want this to look as though it was shot at 12 seconds past midnight. I want it to, uh, to look as if it reflects a, a more um, appropriate time. And we do that by adjusting the starting frame position. Now uh, there are 25 frames or 30 frames every second. So uh, this is going to be a fairly big number. So the tip here is to hold down shift and to drag the starting frame value until it more accurately matches the time you want to reflect. So let's say I did this at about half past nine in the morning. That actually works out at 13,770 frames. Okay, so we're looking good so far. Just a couple more elements. Create a new shape layer. Select the rectangle tool. Make sure black is set as the fill color and no stroke. I'm just going to zoom in and use hold down space to drag the frame so I can see the text box. And we're just going to create a shape which mirrors the size and height of the existing text box. Mouse wheel to scroll back out again. I'll just set that to uh, fit so you can see it a bit better. Now I'm going to take that, holding down shift and hitting the right cursor key, and just going to grab that and match it up to the title safe area on the other side of the screen. 
Now select the text tool, go to your character panel, check that Arial is selected or another basic system font, and pick a font size that matches up with the font size you've picked for your text effect. So if I go back to the timecode text effect, you'll notice that the text size is set to 36 here and the text color is white. So we'll just go back to our character panel and uh, double check we've got 36 points and a fill color of white just to match it up. Now you can put anything you like in here. In the demo I, I typed can to kitchen. Line that up. Now we'll just uh, increase the size of the rectangle. So click on the rectangle path. Just drag it out and nudge it into place. Okay, it needs to be just a little bit larger. Okay, that's pretty close. I'm going to select um, both of those layers and hit Control and D to duplicate them. Hold down Shift and just nudge them down with the down cursor key. And I'll just replace the Cam2 kitchen text with a fake date. So we'll call it 2705-2010. Select the text layer, nudge it into place, select the shape layer 2, Select the rectangle path, scale it down, and again just nudge it into place. Okay, so there's one final trick, um, and this is the bit that really, really makes it look like um, a CCTV video rather than the straight piece of footage. Hit Ctrl and K to bring up the composition property values, and just swap the frame rate to something much lower. Now. Uh, Trial and error tells me that uh, a frame rate of 2 per second gives me the effect that I want, but uh, feel free to have a play. So if I render that out, so as you can see, uh, changing the composition frame rate to a much lower setting gives you that time lapse effect that CCTV camera systems often have. Um, we've got the vignette, we've got the, um, the Venetian blinds and all the uh, desaturation and noise to give it that um, real surveillance video look. And because the uh, timecode effect we've added looks at the footage beneath for its reference, every single timecode matches up with the time-lapse setting that we've created. So you can play around with that and the timecode will reflect your changes. Okay, so that's a nice simple one. Hope you enjoyed it. Certainly enjoyed making it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.